you about it. This talent here. I have the here. talent here. I can't get any help. He makes the mistake. And I didn't make the mistake. He said the first. No, uh, we're recording right now. <laughs> we're good friends. Yes, There's we, nothing to worry about. We, we are very here, good. Let me check your lymph nodes. <laughs> okay. <sighs> uh, thank you. George Lowe with O'Reilly and Kimmy Show. It's always a pleasure to have you on the show. And You and are just a big, delicious bowl of Mommy's homemade soup. Thank you for saying so. And thank you. And thank you for singing on the show. You've done that from time to time. Oh, from time to time. Yeah, I always leave you jingles that you can't use because I'm, yes. I'm dirty. I'm dirty and unpleasant. He's not. He's really not. Well, we've been, we've been making fun of the classics today. That's right. We are at a location in Central Florida. We're at Smash Comics. And games. We yes. can't forget games. We they got, no, they got the games. Yeah, they got games. There are a couple of guys in the back that weigh probably a good 800 pounds between the two of them At playing tiddlywinks. Games. One guy lost an eye. <laughs> Man, you talk about a shot. <laughs> well, Right in the cornea. Well, by the time we have this uploaded, he will not be at Smash Comics and Games. I'll be long gone. If you on can. A special route that Riley and Kimmy have designed for me so I don't have to get on I 4. It's. That most dangerous road in, in America. America. He's going on the covered wagon trail. Did We've you, set him I up. Want, I want to make that point one more time, if I'm allowed, with your viewers. Oh, yes, one more time. Friends, sure. Friends at home, I-4, the most dangerous road in America. in America. This is, mind you, this is the 405 in Los Angeles, second place to I-4, the most, the most dangerous, dangerous road in America. It's okay. Everybody got so quiet. And, I and, and you... And if it's he makes okay to laugh, pretend it's a really and if he makes if he makes it home, which it is, if he makes it home, take your yeah. alternate well the alternate route. Were you sending me by alligator jungle? I or told you to follow the setting the sun. What's the matter with follow you? Follow the setting sun. Okay, well you, that's that's another way of telling somebody to get bent. <laughs> if you follow make the setting sun, Tubby. If you make it home, you will be making back this area I'm to I'm going through Groveland. <laughs> yes, you will. I think that's where those teens died in that mysterious summer accident at the cottage. If you survive and you make it back home, yes. coming up in January, January yeah. 8th, yeah. you will be, let's hold this up right. If I, by the way, if I end up duct taped to a pine tree with somebody playing a banjo, I'm going to be royally PO'd at you guys. Remember, squeal like a pig. Well, just, <laughs> thank you for getting it. <laughs> you just, Squeal like a Don't pig. hand me the mic. You bail yourself squeal out. like a pig. Go ahead. I dug in. You dig yourself uh, it's, out. Uh, it's all right. Anyhow, if he survives and he's not squealing like a pig, he will be in Deland at the Deland Comic you Collectible I'm Show. Fat? No, uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll be, yeah, the Deland. Yeah, Deland Comic yeah. Collectible Show. See yes. right there. Right there. Yeah. You will be Which there. My name. My name is not on this one, by the way. They could spare no expense. The Deland Comic Convention or whatever. Yeah. They did. But but I'm assured that they bought a rubber stamp and my name has subsequently been added. On thousands of them. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> On thousands. thousands. Every bathroom all around Central oh, Florida. These are there. The Blues Brothers tonight. <laughs> One night only at the Palace Hotel Ballroom. So for those who missed George Lowe at Smash Comics and Games, yeah. this, this time you're here, you might be back. If you play nice, right? Oh, yeah. 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 No, they were delightful hosts. Yes, you'd love Reese to come back, right? Gave me a hoagie and, and uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and, and the owner the owner kept making this purring noise every time he went by. I don't know what the hell that uh, was about. And David Corporon. Yeah. Deep, deeply yeah. disturbing. Yeah, okay. You and, can and the see. Kid, the kid at the front desk, what's his name, Brian? Brian. Brian and Ryan. Yes. Uh, they, Brian and Ryan. They sound like appliances. They just kind of go. They just hum. And what about Nicole? Nicole's you, normal. Okay. Yeah, but they have to do that. It's required in comic stores, I think. Now you have to have one normal person. Just one. Yeah, it's oh. like greets the people who okay. you know handles the parents who don't know what they're buying for the sick kid. Okay, this is the one normal guest who will be at the Deland Collectible Show coming up on January eighth, a Sunday. Yeah. Only a five dollar admission. A to Sunday. Su a Sunday. 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 Oh, good, another Sunday. Sunday. Fine. You like Sunday cons? Yeah. Oh yeah, Sunday cons are great. They're the best. And, and I'm only driving from Venus. <laughs> so now I have so to make tell, sure you tell now, the little folks not to forget their wallets when they come to see Daddy, who's I, driving on I-4, the most dangerous road in America. You will be at the Volusia County Fairgrounds. You know I-4 makes I-95 look like it's the Golden Girls going for a spin on a Sunday? Just because That's you, how bad 4 is. Just because you drive like one of the Golden Girls. I-4 
makes everyone on 95 look like Stevie Wonder and George Shearing out for a spin on the weekend. That comment from George Lowe, not the Riley and Don't Kimmy show. Don't blame me. Don't blame me. It's all in the name of comedy. Now, George, if somebody, if they want to get your prints, you yeah. do have it available on your website, or right? Or you can go to lowcountry.com. Thank you for that. That's a lovely yeah. plug. Thank Did you. you like for, that segue there? That's yeah. yeah, that's fine. That's fine. And uh, and you could just uh, hop right in there, and and uh, we'll we'll load them up in the mail and voicemails. A lot of the time, you get the voicemails almost as fast as you order them. So that's low L O W E country. Yes. Dot com. Nicely done, my boy. Oh, thank, yes, you. thank you. Thank well you. Well done. All right. Yeah. And you're looking forward to meeting all your fans. I am. In Deland. Both of them. In Deland. So, Ray and Timmy, you'll be sure and get Mom and Dad to slam me in the Buick, and off we go to the Deland Toy and Excitement Pavilion for... It's the... it's on this flyer that you're not well, on. what is it on? This thing's got everything on it except your recipe for lemon hey, chicken. Hey, look, for... we're on there. Crying out loud. Yeah, you guys made yeah, it. We made it. Thank you very much. <laughs> you're, you're not on it. Meet... meet That's the wrong one. That's this one. Like, meet Blort Matheson, the guy in the green shoes and in for a man. You can He's pick one the... of the red shirt guys who died in two minutes in the first Star Trek. You can pick these up at... Smash comics and games you and also your, you have to do this man squat you're doing and push your knee right into my gizzard the whole time We're talking. Why are you complaining? I have less less familiarity when I go for my annual visit to the doctor. I Love George Lowe <laughs> I guarantee we, going, going to his ta going to his table picture. you this is unlike any and other Riley, autograph Riley's going to be making cotton candy with the XR 70 oh, yes. pants cotton candy machine yes. this time So he'll just yes. he'll take the paper thing and yes. swish it right That's around me. in there cotton candy right out of his pants. Fun. And by the way smash comics and games will be at the Deland comic and collectible show They're They'll the be best. bringing their things they are they're the, and they're, they're gonna bring the two sick guys who hum and the normal girl Ooh. Yeah, and some pop vinyls <laughs> Maybe even some Every Space time Ghost you walk ones. By Ryan, I swear. Okay. Sounds like a compressor in a frigid air. Check Ryan, out. Are you okay? I'm good. Okay, we're just checking. No, All you're right. supposed to go. Uh, uh, why would you make me look bad and make. See, now he's made me look like a liar. I'm fine, Space Ghost. Okay. Thank you, Ryan. All right, check out lowcountry.com. Lowcountry.com yes. for all of your impulse crap needs. And for. Just perhaps that show promoter watching this or that radio and TV station, if you're looking for a new voice talent, a guest, yeah. contact this guy right or here. If you like for the next 20 years, you can keep going with this guy. You're listening to the best mix of sales and management on Teffy 102. <laughs> he is available, and you can reach him at a And all new MacGyver, CBS tomorrow. And all new Hawaii 5 CBS tonight. You can reach him at lowcountry.com. And get him on your radio station, or at your event, or yes, your TV right. station. Or or just keep going down the same crappy path you're going on with someone who can't ad-lib. That's fine. Go ahead. Really, no one's pushing you here. Okay, you got that. Happy 102. Stay tuned, because it's 3 for Thursday, right after 7,000 more commercials that we backload to try and make you think that we play more music. And he does character voices, as you can tell. That's George Lowe. Oh, that's the program director. Oh, you... Are you bashing the program directors again? Sure. Again? Well, yeah. Again. Unless they give us money. Now, see, I asked you a question once way back. What's that? One of our first interviews, and that was, would you ever go back to radio again? And you made fun of the program well, directors. No, only only in the capacity that you and I are involved in, where they, they give you money, <laughs> and, and you send it from home. Right. Yeah, no, day-to-day, -day, walking in the building. You wouldn't want to do trying that? Trying to make those people look good in meetings. You, you don't want to deal with and salespeople? They, and they always have someone, you know, with, with the Rolex from sales who repeats exactly what you said 20 minutes later, and they go, you know, Tim's got the best idea. Yeah, but George said it an hour ago. No, I like Tim. Tim's got that big old juicy brain on him. Let's use Tim's idea. WKRP did have some reality to it. I mean, it was real. That was my friend Bill Fippen knew Hugh Wilson. Oh, really? That was based on a station in Atlanta. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. My, my buddy Bill, who uh, started me in Atlanta, that was Bill's buddy, Hugh Wilson. Excellent. Yeah. Was he like a Herb Tarlick? No, he was actually very cool. He wasn't like a Herb Tarlick. The last, the last okay. two good people I knew in radio. Okay. All right. Yeah. He wasn't like an Art Carlson or... Oh. No. Did you ever work for an Art Carlson type? Yeah. Oh, are you kidding? Come on. Haven't we all? Yeah. Are you kidding? I'm just asking you. Half of these guys are like all the free stuff. Hey, free radios. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Forget about giving it away on the air. Hey, we just got a truckload of lava lamps. Okay, he doesn't want to do daily radio, unless it's at his house. Just the imaging. <laughs> yes, send the script, give me the money, let me send it to you. Because really, honestly, we don't need to meet. 
Okay, market size is not a problem. No, because we did, uh, what was it, San Francisco, a decade, number one. Uh, we did Boston, CBS, a decade, number one. TV, didn't you Here's do? 17 with uh, Fox in Dallas now. So, yeah, we do the big markets and we do the little markets. Okay. Yeah. Big and little. Big and little. And medium, too. Which, yeah, <laughs> which uh, describes a lot of the kids' trousers here in beautiful Sanford today. Yes. George, thank you. Thank you for being on the Riley and Kibbe Show. You could make a damn camping trip out of some of the pants in here today, couldn't you? That's a George Lowe comment. Did you a couple of, oh, <laughs> everyone is so uptight. No. Am I right, no. David? Everyone is so uptight. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, it's almost back pill time for Daddy, so thanks for coming. And thank you for being on the Riley and Kimmy Show. Thank you for having me on the Riley and Kimmy Show. Well, thank you. You'll get all tingly down below when you listen to the Riley and Kimmy Show. Yeah. Yeah.